The digital leaders are like extra members of staff, to be honest. They are they are an invaluable resource within the school. The digital leaders come in and they show us, you know, what can be done. You know, digital leaders have that extra time to find out those extra little niggly bits that you feel, oh, you didn't think of, you know, as a teacher, you don't think of that. You feel, oh, that's brilliant. There was an idea by Daniel that, you know, we should use digital leaders. And I said, yeah, that's a fantastic idea. Let's put up action plan for digital leaders. Trial it out initially with a few kids that I thought I'd you know, get the best out of and see how it goes. We started at the beginning of this year, I think we're the first year to be doing this programme. So like the other years, like year eights and nines, um, are already starting to do it and we're helping to teach them and show them what to do. And so that by the time they get to year 10, they already know all of this. Digital leaders at parents' evening have sat parents down and given them one-to-one -one tuition on how to access the site. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's cost effective, but it's, it, it, it's just an incredible step forward. Some of the younger pupils, they really aspire to being a digital leader now. You know, I want to be one. What have, what have I got to do to be a digital leader? And isn't that fantastic? What I think is a good digital leader is good communication skills and a kind of friendly personality. I mean, we're up to 150 digital leaders now across the school, so, uh, and we're hoping to recruit more. This is a real job. This isn't a job we've made up. This isn't standing on the corner escorting children from one building to another and making sure they're quiet. This is a job that actually needs doing. I know some of the teachers do struggle slightly with new technology um, and I think they find it slightly hard to adjust. But um, I think that pressure is actually a good thing because it, it needs, means that the teachers have to learn and they have to learn quickly and, and that means that they're a lot more comfortable with the technology, with us demanding it. I get all the content, I discuss it with the digital leader, what the best possible options are um, and with, uh, with that digital leader he, he'll suggest some options where how the pupils could access it easily and uh, conveniently at their own time etc. Once they get it, I mean, yeah. that's it, they've, they've got it and it's as simple as that but it does sometimes takes a little while. Seeing that digital leader at least once a week does help sort of, you know, you sort of gain confidence in pupils in a different way compared to sort of teaching them as a class. And it's given some confidence as well, because like I've just arranged a meeting with Mr Douglas <laughs> to teach him about Google Forms and do Google Documents and things, and it's, yeah, it's just given me confidence. And, you know, once you gain that trust in those pupils, you think, well, we can start developing that and perhaps get more involved and yeah, helping us with other, you know, other things that we need doing. And I think, I, I think it's just definitely the way forward. You do learn off them, which is, I think, it's a, it's a two-way system. It's fantastic. You know, you think, well, what's, what's the next thing that they can do? But yeah, they're fantastic.